So did you know that the GoPro could actually get shots like this? You can get incredible star time lapses with your GoPro and it's super easy. And I'll show you how to do that. But if you're somebody in a hurry and just needs to get to the settings, I have that all down in the description. So make sure you check that out down there. Otherwise, stay tuned and I'll show you how I do it. But let's do it quickly because it's Thursday. Okay, let's get right to it. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know if you want more of this kind of content. Also, you can click that. Yeah, cool. Thanks so much. So I will first tell you the settings that I use on my GoPro and then I'll give you some tips and then finally uh, show you how I put it on my computer to edit it. This might be a little bit longer than 30 seconds, so let's pretend for today that time moves a little bit slower. There are two ways that I like to set up my GoPro for star time lapses. I am using the GoPro Hero 9, but these settings will actually work on older GoPros. So the first settings that you will set is if it is dark, like no moon out in the sky. So you put it on time lapse, you will select to edit. You set the format to photo and always do photo and not video because you'll get a much clearer picture with photo. Set the interval to auto, shutter to 30 seconds. You wanna make sure that the output is raw. Scheduled capture off, duration no limit. And then you wanna go into ProTune and you wanna set your white balance to 4000K, your ISO minimum to 1600 and your ISO maximum to 1600 as well. Keep your sharpness on low so that it doesn't add any extra noise to it. And you want the color to be flat. And then you can go and set this outside and capture a beautiful night time lapse. Starry, starry night. And if you do try this out and you post it on Instagram or Facebook, please tag me in it because I would love to see what you create. Now, if there is a moon or you have brighter lights out, you might need to change your settings a little bit and let me just tell you what will change. Shutter speed will be 15 seconds, but then the ISO minimum is gonna be 800 and the ISO max is gonna be 800. That'll make it so that the moon or whatever lights are around aren't overexposing the shot. All right, just some quick tips on how to capture. On the Hero 9, you can actually save those custom presets and that way you can easily access them and not have to go through and change them, which is a great positive for the Hero 9. This will give you about three and a half hours of the night that you're doing a time lapse with because of the battery. But then also, if you want to capture more than that three and a half hours, you can just set an alarm and then go out there and just change battery. Make sure you put this somewhere where it won't shake or move or change because of the wind. It's gotta be somewhere really, really stable and secure. I will leave some links down in the description for some gear that I use to mount it to make it nice and secure and stable. Also, if you are leaving it overnight somewhere, make sure you have all the compartments sealed off because you know, you'll get dew in the morning and you don't want that to come in and wreck your GoPro. And on that point, if you're leaving it somewhere overnight, make sure you hide it somewhere well because you don't want it to get stolen. And now you have all these pictures, let's take it to the computer to edit. Now remember, this is the way that I do it. There might be an easier way for someone else to do it. This is just the way that I do it and it's easy for me. But if you have an easier way, please let us know in the comments. I import the pictures into the computer and then I take all of those pictures and put it on the timeline. Then I highlight all the pictures and change the duration to two frames. And then I highlight them once again, if they're not highlighted, and I create a compound clip. That way it all gets put together in one little sequence. That way it's a lot easier if you wanna add color correction and little zooms or even crop in certain spots. And well, that's basically it. Oh, time's up. That 30 seconds went by pretty quick, didn't it? Thanks again for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please share it with a fellow GoPro user friend. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Appreciate you. Also check out all this cool stuff and I'm out of here.